Hey YouTube, finally got an update put together. Uh, last time I left with some parts that indicated I would start building a transmission, and so with that I will. Uh, I upgraded to an inch and 3 8 input. I accidentally got a bearing retainer that wasn't bored out, so I had to bore my own. No big deal there. Took a lot of pictures assembling the thing, but they're pretty boring stuff, so there's a rebuilt transmission for you. Just about everything got replaced hard parts wise except for the floating gears. Uh, collecting all the parts for that took a little while, so in between bits and pieces of the transmission I started cutting on the frame horns. Cut the ends off, replaced them with some uh, homemade pieces, and also removed the leaf spring hangers from the front of the frame. All that to make way for these parts that I drew up and with a little help from the water jet cut out. That's 6061 aluminum, half inch thick. Uh, this video is sped up, so that's not real time cutting. But here's a little clip of the water jet running in real time. Uh, this, if you're not familiar with a water jet, uses a thin stream of very high pressure water mixed with a garnet abrasive to cut. Cuts really clean and smooth, and you can't really tell in this video, but the head is uh, dynamically controlled, so it keeps the kerf even as it cuts, makes a very square edge. Makes a really nice part. Uh, I might be able to get some video of it cutting in 3D at some point, but I don't have any parts for that right now. Anyways, that gave me this part, and gives you a little idea of what's to come. Sharp edges the water jet leaves are no fun, so I grabbed a router and a bearing guide carbide bit and started cutting all the edges. Uh, this is an eighth inch radius bullnose bit. It's carbide, but it's meant for wood. Cuts aluminum great. Here you get the background noise that I got to listen to. Uh, it took forever to do all four sides of these two pieces. Uh, this video is sped up considerably. Real time motion is very slow, but it leaves a really nice finish. 6061 machines well, and it actually came out really well with the router bit. Gave a nice smooth edge, nice clean look. Uh, I bent a piece out of 5000 series aluminum. That's the middle. Um, cut the two tubes. Those are also 6061. I believe they're two and a quarter inch OD quarter wall. There's a little detail shot of the shackle mount area. And there it is, dressed up. I put a fair lead on it and put the turn signal lights in it just to look. Then I took it to the coating shop and had them anodize it. It's just a raw anodize, so it should hopefully look like that for quite some time. Now that that's all out of the way and the transmission is built, we saw rebuild kits for turbos last time as well, and I finally got to that. I put it off for quite some time, but it's really actually an easy job. It doesn't require that many tools. Pretty boring here. I just took them apart, cleaned everything really well, replaced all of the bushings and snap rings with the kit and uh, thrust bearings and bolted them together. Uh, there they are setting in place, finally assembled. And here is a shot of the same setup, only with the cold pipe on. Sorry about the plastic, but I'm trying to keep everything clean. So I hope that uh, these videos aren't too boring. They seem a little bit long before, so I decided to make them shorter. And I have some more footage. Here is a little bit of a taste of what's to come. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you later.